please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. We're at Thunder Hill West with Carters at the track and it's KTM test number two. We're doing a different direction. In this case, it's 10 turns clockwise. And we're gonna go ahead and see how the bike works in this given situation. The only difference, it's hot. It's 102 degrees today. So our track temperature currently is sitting at 122 Fahrenheit, which you can see the Celsius conversion. So it's gonna be hot. So tire pressure, the last time I ran, I dropped the front two PSI. So let's remind ourselves what that looks like. Lots of rubber on the leading edges in the middle of the tire, lots of it. And then the braking lines join across the middle. So the profile of the tire went flat in braking, the tire compacted dramatically and the bars would do a small figure of eight side to side. So we're gonna start, because the bike's been in the sun all day, we're gonna start at 34 and a half hot, and then let's see how the front wears. Now on the rear tire, we were starting at 34 hot. So I'm gonna continue with that pressure from last time. We got pretty decent wear overall. Our sandy beach is in. We've got plenty of that. Now we're going the other direction, so the tire wear is going to change slightly, but very clean edge to edge, very clean. So we'll start with that as a constant as well. And lastly, full travel. So we can see where we have been, and that's not a good sign because that shows the forks are starting to weep. So we might have to deal with that separately. But that was wheeling the bike and riding the bike over this morning to get it there at that point the o-rings from where it was last time and you can actually see dirt and debris so i'm gonna to have to clean the fork up because that's not good but that's our starting point all right if you're wondering what the water is under the bike we have a water slide here today so <laughs> everybody's having fun and i pitted in the wrong place all right let's get to where we're going here so motorcycle suspension will go in, damping in, we're still in the advanced setting, so we're going to keep that, we're going to come back, then preload, go in, it is auto standard, and I'm going to go down to manual, select manual, we're going to go to 35 30 percent no let's go to 40 actually because we did 30 last time let's select that and then that will stop flashing so that'll tell us where we need to be we might need the engine running for that i'm not sure i remember but i'll double check it in a bit because we got to move on anti-dive was off fork setting is soft and then down to shock setting is five out of so hard is one eight is soft so we're going to stay at five so those are all the settings so we know what we've got last piece of the puzzle for starting position is our fork position so you can see exactly where we're at and that is identical to where we were last time all right time to suit up all right let's get on the track for thunder hill west with carters at the track we're doing 10 turns and we're going clockwise so first thing as you come out here look behind you someone blows that straight they're gonna hit you so we're all clear now the second look which is even harder is immediately to our right two guys coming so we're gonna join in right behind them after those two there's a train so we need to move okay join traffic and pace so we're gonna clip the concrete curb we're gonna take our time 
got to get heat in the tires. So we're going to clip the middle of the curb, clip the end of the curb, clip almost at the end. Now let it run out where the white paint starts. Now turn. So you're aiming for the tar snake on your right. We're accelerating because we're going uphill. We're going to miss the concrete triangle pretty much. Nice and smooth over the top. Now we're coming in to turn two. I'm going to come in backwards because we usually go the other rotation. So those tar snakes are the first thing I hit. Then I drift out, bring it down downshift and now I run a wide line it's all off camber so you've got to be careful now accelerate up to you how close to the wall you get now I need a brake marker let's go to the light post get off there we go plenty of time for two brake for two downshifts when braking tar snake Release brakes now, start of the white paint, go. Now we've got to get to the crack first, there it is. Then turn in, let it run out, and when the curb appears on our left, we brake, and two down shifts. One, two, lay it on the curbing. Now we've got to go straight ahead, there it is. Now you don't want to fly over the top, so we'll go out of the gas, bring it in, there's our tar snake, so now we know where we're going, middle, right, end, towards the end, let it run out, now we want the white paint, there it is, turn, now we want the tar snake on our right, if we go too fast we'll miss it, so now steer left, your choice how much of the triangle you want to go over, then accelerate up the hill, Again, wide and then down. Downshift. Nice wide radius. Accelerate. Now the lap post gave us plenty of time for braking. So let's go past it. About halfway to the end of the wall. Still a ton of time, so that's good. Back for our tar snakes, there they are. Wait for the paint, go. Crack. Go, keep the gas on. Curb, that's our brake on point. Two down shift, second gear. Laid around the curb, there it is. Now drive. for the tar snake. Yep. Middle. End. Let it roll out. White paint. Tar snake. Bring it back around. Choose your portion of the triangle. You can see what happens to the bikes in front of us. Going early, drift her out, now turn it down and in, downshift, careful on the off camber, now we can go, now let's push a little bit further on the brake marker, that's better, brakes are off, Roll through the corner, drive it, bring it back around, go, crack, turn in, keep the gas on, two downshifts into second, drive, Bit. Now 
now we need John Snake, there it is. Can run it out. Don't be afraid. Brakes white line. Toss snake. That took me out of the seat, so that's too big of a shot. We don't need to go there. 